Captain Commando, the original Capcom flagship character. His entry in gaming dates all the way back to the NES gaming era, and he was a character to greet and thank you at the beginning of every Capcom instruction booklet. Captain Commando design changed drastically over the years as he started out as a space pirate, then an astronaut, to what we have today. He has Captain Fire and Captain Soul. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, he is currently ranked as the second character in B tier. But even with his placement in the tier list, what is it that makes Captain Commando a legendary leader? To understand this question, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play 1. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play 1, and this is Captain Commando's move list from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Captain Commando moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, first let us take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Captain Fire. This move is Captain Commando's projectile attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward plus any punch button. The Captain Fire is a great projectile. It's not the best, but it gets the job done. It has fast startup time, and the move is an excellent combo finisher. From a distance, apply pressure with the Captain Fire and it's awesome for chipping damage. This attack can be done in mid-air, and as with any other projectile, use it to zone the opponent into controlled space. Up next is the attack called the Captain Corridor. This move is Captain Commando's anti-air. To do the attack, do a quarter circle back plus any punch button. This move has got to be one of the best anti-air attacks in the game, and as an assist, it's godly. The light punch version of the attack blasts the pillar of energy directly under the captain, while the fierce punch variation blasts the pillar in front of him. Both versions of the move only score for one hit. The captain corridor has fast startup time, and can be even used in combos. This attack is one of the safest anti-airs in the game since the captain never leaves the ground while performing the move. The captain kick is Captain Commando's horizontal attack. To do the move, do a quarter circle back plus any kick button. The light kick version is almost full screen range while the Fierce Kick variation goes even further. Both versions of the Captain Kick scores for two hits. Also, this attack instantly knocks down upon contact. While I don't really have any issues with this attack, I only wish that it could be done in mid-air. That would have given the Captain an increase in air mobility. This move has Captain Commando summon his squad to attack. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus any attack button. The button that's pressed determines which commando is summoned. 
pressing the light kick button will summon the commando show for three hits. Pressing fierce kick button will summon the commando Geninti. This attack operates like an anti-air. Pressing light kick plus fierce punch will summon Hoover who will fire a missile at the opponent. Commando strike with show is pretty fast and cool, but I wish it was an overhead attack. Captain Commando has three normal throws. Press forward and fierce punch to execute his fierce punch throw. Press forward and fierce kick to execute his fierce kick throw. And press forward and fierce punch in midair for an aerial fierce punch throw. Okay. Captain Commando has one launcher in this game. Press fierce kick for the center launcher. You can do Captain Commando's taunt by pressing the select button. Alternatively, hold light kick then press start if you're playing the Dreamcast version. So the first hyper I would like to cover is called the Captain Sword. This is a move where Captain Commando forms an energy blade to chop down the opponent. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. This move can be used as an anti-air. Also, the Captain Sword can combo in two from the launcher. So. But perhaps the greatest thing about this move is the fact that you can use it to bring aerial opponents down to your level. This is useful when doing delayed hyper combos and when you want to keep the combo going. The second hyper combo on the list is called the Captain Storm. This is where Captain Commando and his squadron will assault the enemy. To do the attack, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. This hyper is more damaging than the Captain Sword but it isn't combo friendly. To be honest, the Captain Storm doesn't really have a fast startup, so it's best to use an assist and try to find an opening. The Captain Storm is definitely a cool looking hyper with the most damage, but I feel like the Captain Sword is the most effective out of the two. Here's what to expect when you use Captain Commando as an assist character. Captain Commando's Alpha Assist would do a Fierce Punch Captain Fire. His Beta Assist would do a Fierce Punch Captain Corridor. And his Gamma Assist would perform a Fierce Kick Captain Kid. Overall, Captain Commando plays sort of like a Shoto. He has a Fireball and anti-air 
and a kick attack that moves across the screen. In the hands of a pro player, he is definitely a formidable opponent. His Captain Corridor is one of the best anti-air moves in the game, and as an assist, the attack itself is god tier. One of the cons of his gameplay is that the Captain doesn't have much mobility in the air. Also, his launcher has range, but the timing is real tight if you want to combo with it. With that being said, here are some tips to help your gameplay with Captain Commando. The Captain Corridor is Commando's best assist. Use it for anti-air purposes and to interrupt your opponent attacks. The Captain Fire projectile is not the best, but it gets the job done. Use it to zone and to control space as well as to apply pressure from a distance. The best hybrid to use as a solo combo finisher is the Captain Soul. Also, this hyper is very easy to use while doing a delayed hyper combo. The Captain can easily guard break by snapping an opponent out and by summoning Janinti as their team member comes in. Whenever using Captain Commando as an assist, make sure to use the beta one, which is the Fierce Punch Captain Corridor. Well, that's it for this week's installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play 1. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.